Hi, I'm Matt Vanacoro from askvideo.com and macprovideo.com. And today we're going to take a look at Polyplex by Twisted Tools and Native Instruments. It's a drum sampler, synth, and sound generator for the reactor instrument. Polyplex is a drum instrument that has eight different pads. You can see them right up here at the top. Any of these eight pads can be customized so that each of them contains up to four layers. You can see the layers down here in the main window. Each of these layers can be customized with different samples, pitch, start time, envelopes, pan, volume. It's extremely configurable and will allow you to create some really big and powerful sounds. The layer parameters themselves can also be randomized. So if you're not sure what you're looking for, you can use that to kind of switch things around. So if I take some sounds I've got right now with this Walker's patch, Let's say I'm not too keen on that snare drum. I'll click on it and we can see all the parameters. If I want to, I can randomize what samples are being used to make that particular snare sound. Till I find one that I like. I actually like that previous one, so I'm gonna undo. Well, that's cool. So I've adjusted the snare sample and gotten one that I like a little bit better. But that's not all I can randomize. I can actually do quite a bit more. Instead of just randomizing the samples, I can randomize everything in this particular pad by using the more global randomization, the pad randomization button up here. So you'll see now a lot of the parameters are randomized. It doesn't have to stop just there. In addition to randomizing the individual pad, all the parameters of the pad, I can randomize everything, all of the pads. So I can get this cool sound and say, you know what, let's just try to come up with something different. And keep randomizing until I find something that I'm really happy with. So there's many layers of randomization, and you can randomize everything from one single parameter to an entire pad to the entire kit. If you would like to customize your sound a bit, we can make some adjustments to these pads as well. I'm going to take a look at pad number five. It's that kick drum, and it's got a nice little sub synth in there as well. I want to mess with it a little bit, so I'm going to open up the envelope window. I can move the attack time and make it a little bit less abrupt. So now I'm missing some of that kick attack and I'm getting more of the synth. So depending on where I move this little parameter range, I can get a little more of the synth and a little less of the attack. In addition to that, I can use modulation to adjust stuff. So this particular kick drum has a pitched element to it. If I wanted to use something like, say, the LFO to modulate the pitch, just like a synth, I could do that. Turn on the LFO and just decide how much of that should be modulated. And I can adjust the frequency of the LFO to modulate it a little faster. So that's how you can quickly make some adjustments to parameters and use modulators to give a unique flair to your sound. There's a robust effects engine that we can take a look at by opening up the global effects window. We've got some send effects. I'll turn on the stutter. Kind of neat little stutter effect on the snare drum. And we've got some insert effects like lo-fi that we can glitch out our sounds with. You can really, wow, you can really get a wide, wide, wide spread of sounds using the effects engine and modifying your individual pads with some effects in different ways. You can load your own custom samples into Polyplex as well. If you've got a set of drum machine sounds or a set of synth sounds, things that you want to amplify the custom kits with, 
pretty easy to do. I can go to this kick drum sound and I'll disable some of the layers. Let's get down to listening to just one layer. And if I want my own sound to be there instead of that sub kick sound, I'll just open the sample map editor and go to the custom samples, the user samples area. Now, as you can see, I've got nothing loaded up now. I'm going to add in a sample. I've got a few samples here from a classic vintage old drum machine. And I'll set the root to 60 and the low and high as well to 60 because I don't really want this one to pitch stretch too much. I want it to be just locked into that one particular sound. I'm going to close the sample map editor and simply tell Polyplex to go to the user samples and use sample number 60. And when I do, you'll hear my custom drum machine sound. If I go to a different sample, you won't hear anything because I don't have any samples loaded up there. So you have to find the sample number that you chose. The great thing is that now that it's loaded up, I can modify it in any way that I like, just like I can any other sample, and I can combine it with other samples to make a more robust sound. Pan things a little bit. And that's great. I can mix it in with acoustic stuff so I can have sort of an electric and acoustic combined sound. But basically, it allows you to layer in your own samples and use them in any way you want, just as if they were factory samples. Well, that's it for our look at Polyplex today. I'm Matt Vanicoro from AskVideo.com and MacProVideo.com.